Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video here, we will be showing you guys if you have a BMW, guys, E85, E89, guys. This is the Z4 uh, BMW 2 generation. And you have alternator, guys, okay, that you're thinking you have a bad diode. We will explain, guys, how to test a diode on alternator on BMW, guys, Z4. Now, the diodes are very important. Why? Because they let uh, the current go only one way from the alternator to the battery. And when you turn your car off, they will not allow uh, the electricity from the battery to enter back in the alternator which will discharge your battery so we'll show you guys how to test it now uh, quick introduction to the channel guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos specifically on bmws we make close to four five hundred videos why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys so please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information if you guys need to buy any of the tools that we'll be using to test the alternator or if you need to buy a new alternator we'll have the link shared in the description of the video below to see where you can get one from now we'll demonstrate on a six cylinder gasoline engine but even if you have a four cylinder gasoline diesel engines all of them will be covered guys because the alternators practically they function the same way so now first we have two alternator guys okay one is good one is bad now we'll explain how guys they compare how to know okay that uh, one is good one is bad now this is the good alternator that we'll be explaining to you today guys but before we start okay how are you going to test it you need to disconnect your car battery guys disconnect it if you do not know how to do that the correct way which terminal to remove first okay positive or negative we have a video that explains all that and we will share the link in the description of the video below that explains that it's very important because otherwise if you do not disconnect the battery the correct way you can burn modules electrical computers uh, cause damage to electrical uh, components guys on your vehicle so be extremely careful once you do that you need to guys see okay this is the positive 12 volt wire that goes to charge the battery on the alternator right here usually it's attached okay with one okay with one nut we got the nut loose and we pulled it out perfect just like that you don't even need to remove the alternator just make sure the battery is uh, disconnected and the car is not running and now we'll demonstrate on a good alternator and then we'll show you the bad one guys and show you how to know that you have a bad one so this is guys the multimeter that we're using we're going to go to diode testing okay right there click twice to select diode testing and we're going to have okay that's the diode right here you can see now we're going to put the red lead on the 12 volt charging wire and the black lead on the casing scratch it a little bit guys okay and what do we have no reading at all guys no reading now let's flip them the black lead on the 12 volt charging cable red lead on the casing okay and let's see if we get something again okay right there you need to give it a good scratch sometimes about 500 guys okay let's scratch it one more time because you need to make sure okay right there okay about 560 so if you have a reading between 5 and 800 with the red lead on the casing black lead on the charging cable guys that's great now if we switch them the other way you should get nothing like no reading at all guys okay that's how it should be now let's test the one that is not good the one that's on the vehicle guys okay right here let me show you okay what we have now so we'll touch the black one on the charging cable red one on the casing 570 so that's great you can see almost matching the other one between 5 and 800 so that's great but when we switch them the other way we should get nothing um, okay let's see now okay right there what do we get guys 1.8 so you can see we have a problem guys we should get nothing guys and we're getting reading both ways so that's how you know guys if you put the uh, red lead on the charging cable black on casing you shouldn't get anything and when you reverse them you should get between five and eight hundred so that tells you you have bad diodes in your alternator so hopefully the video will be helpful guys thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time